Hi guys, welcome back to another video tutorial from Big Rock Designs. In this one guys, we're going to try and resolve a common issue that we get with uh, hair photographs and that's the flyaway hairs. And this is just a nice little technique that I use when I need to fix these flyaway hairs. There isn't a magic button as such, but there is a little bit of work on this technique will perhaps make the process a little bit easier for you. The first thing that I would like you to do is make a selection of the object. I'm going to use the quick selection tool. It's probably my favorite selection tool. And I'm just going to click and drag in the image. Just make a reasonably good selection. Add in any areas that have not been included. Okay, and that's not bad. Next, what I want to do is to use the Refine Edge tool to control the selection to get as much detail into this thing as I can. And to get this, either choose Refine Edge or alternatively, Select and Refine Edge. Now, what I would like to do is Now folks, I'm going to work with the sliders to achieve the maximum result. First, I'm going to take the smart radius. Without taking this, Photoshop won't be able to detect the edge of the selection. So I'm going to ramp that up quite high. I am going to adjust it in a few minutes. Also, I just want to make my image a little bit smaller. I want to also shift out the edge to then start to fill more detail back in. The smooth feature will soften the edge of the pixel. It uh, tries to resolve an aliasing effect which can happen at the edge of a selection. So I, I would tend to keep it low, perhaps just about one pixel, and if I need to, bring it in. Feathering will blur the edge of the pixel. Here, I'll just put in a 0.5. Contrast will start to fill in extra detail, but it can create an edge to the selection. So I'm going to keep it quite low and I'll bring it back in if I need it. Perhaps around 5. Now, the next feature with my brush tool, I'm going to start to paint detail back in. Now, by pressing the bracket keys on the keyboard, I can increase the size of the brush. Make it a little bit easier to paint that information back. Okay folks, now I'm quite happy with the selection that I've achieved. Let me just zoom in a little bit just so you can see it a little bit better. Now what I would like to do is to try and compensate now and to bring the edge detection back down a little bit. I find it gives me just a little bit better result if I can get this down. And you see it starts to reveal a little bit more detail in my selection. So I'm quite happy with that. The next thing I'm going to do is to output this thing as a new layer with a layer mask. Select OK. The image is output. Now what I want to do is to try and remove some of the effects around the edge, some of these uh, flyaway hairs that appear. And a very nice way to do this, if I zoom right in on my image, and I'm going to hide my uh, image and just reveal the mask. And I'll achieve this by pressing the Alt key on the keyboard and then click on my mask. Now with the image left, I can paint now with a black brush and this will effectively remove 
the flyaway hair objects. So I'm going to select an ordinary stunt brush. I'm going to give myself a reasonable size. I'm going to paint with not a completely hard edge brush, but I think about 85 to 90% will work. So I still have a slight softening. And I'll just size accordingly. So folks, now with a black brush, I'm just going to click and very neatly I'll work my way around the areas that I wish to remove the flyaway hairs from. Okay folks, I've now painted out some of the flyaway hairs on the right hand side of the image. You can see the detail here. I'm just going to bring my mask back in again, holding down Alt and I'll click on my mask to bring it back. There I can see a Quite a nice effect there at the side. I've removed quite a few of those flyaway hairs. Just to see how good a job I've done, I'm going to make a new layer, fill the layer with a solid colour and place it behind my masked layer. So a new layer. I'm going to pick a colour, any colour, it really doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to fill that with the colour and I'll change the stacking order of it. Now looking at the image I can see there is still quite an edge to the object. I'm just going to go back into my selection and reduce the mask edge. That should help me to remove this halo effect. So I'll select my mask, I will select mask edge and in there I'm just going to bring the edge of the mask, so using the shift edge command I'm just going to bring this down, taking in that effect, that halo effect that I'm forced, that I'm confronted with. I'm happy with that, I'm going to select OK. And you can see it's a much better effect now on the air image where I've removed the flyaway hairs. The next thing that I want to do is I'm going to use the liquify tool just to push some of the information in slightly. To achieve this, I need a to remove the colored layer and I'm also going to remove my background layer. Next, I'll bring in my liquify tool, filter and liquify. And I'm just going to cancel that folks. I'm going to bring the liquify in with the mask selected. Filter and liquify. It makes it a lot easier to work with. I'm going to zoom in on my image a little bit. And this can just help me if I have any areas that are sticking out that I just want to try and push them in a little bit. I'm going to select my ordinary forward warp tool and I have a reasonable size brush around 20 pixels and it could be a little bit difficult to see and I'm just going to click and I'm just going to just neatly start to pull some of the detail in anything that I think is sticking out that may detract from my image I'm just going to increase the size of the brush I know it's hard to see on the black background but this can really help me if I have any additional flyaway hairs just sitting there that I just can't get rid of I'm just use this liquify tool just try and push them back. So I'm happy with what I've done. I'm going to press OK. And I can see my image now with a vast reduction now in the flyaway hairs. I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial from Big Rock Designs. If you have any queries, drop me an email. And if you like the video, just give me a comment. It's always appreciated. Thank you.